What's poppin' y'all? Another episode of Stilo TV. Know you saw the last ones, couldn't wait for the next one. Well, we got you. I'm on a solo tip today. I'ma still hold it down. Let's go get it. You about, believe me, tune in. Spin it just one time. What's poppin' everybody? Another episode, Stilo TV. We holding it down. Now, I know a lot of you guys hit up the site from time to time and probably seen us rocking some dope sweatshirts with the airbrush on it. Like today, Stilo, hooking that up. Also seen the t-shirts and the lowrider footwear. Well, today we're gonna show you what's behind all that. Who are the guys that are hooking it up and keeping Stilo fly? You ready for this? You're in for a treat. What's going on? It's your boy A Uno, right here in the place to be, Dizul. West Seattle, White Center to be exact. And we are here with Alex, the shop owner of Dizul. What's happening, man? Huh? How you doing? Chilling, chilling. Yeah. You know what's up? Yeah. Been a while. Yeah. So basically, man, we just came out here to introduce our viewers, you know, people who have been hitting up the website and Stilo TV and uh, showcase what you guys got going on. You know, we get messages all the time that are like, man, your sweatshirts or your t-shirts are dope. Where'd you guys get that? And uh, we forward them to you, so we figured it's a good opportunity to get you on here. Um, yeah, basically, we, you know, we've been doing this for about seven years now. Um, my brother and I decided to start the, the business. You know, we uh, go into the swap meets and um, you know start building our uh, our customers from the ground up. Yeah, so and clientele would hit you up at the swap meets and yeah. And was then, it just airbrushes at that time, or was it other stuff too? It was basically airbrush and murals on cars, walls, basically anywhere we, where we can represent our artwork and the people that want to get, you know, the artwork. The whole thing behind the art is that people always want to showcase their, their like, what they're all about. And we their lifestyle, their individualism, you know, something unique. Yeah, and we decided to take it to a different level and get into people's mind and say what you really want. Basically, they'll come up to us and say, I want these, and then we'll try to polish it and make it unique, step it to a different level and put it out so they can be, you know, fly and flossing just like anybody else. Was it successful right at first, or did you guys go through a lot of ups and downs? I think um, it was always successful, yet we didn't realize it because we didn't know you know what what we were doing right we were just hitting the swamis doing the artwork we decided it was like hey i mean uh, we like art you know we're already living the lifestyle we're just doing our thing basically not even thinking about what we were doing and then uh i, mean, I guess like a year or so into the the uh business that we were doing we realized like oh shit this is actually a business that we're doing you know? right and then it hit us it's like whoa we can take this to a different level so cool. i mean we uh we didn't have no background in businesses we didn't have any uh school as far as like what we're gonna do we, i mean we decided to just go to fairs to like uh try to stay together where more vendors were at and trying to expand yeah so we started hitting all the fairs in the northwest and then um, we went to from the Bay of Seattle to the uh, Taste of Tacoma to the um, Hempfest to any uh, fair that we can get around uh, during the summer we hit and then we're st uh, still doing that at Swami so it was pretty successful. That's cool. So let's talk about kind of the transition from hitting the swap meets and the fairs to having an actual shop right here in White Center where people could come and, and actually get your guys' artwork done. Um, one of the uh, main things that was like people were always um, looking for us, calling us at home, you know. It's like, oh, yeah. oh shit, I the phone? Yeah, it's like, I can't wait for the weekend, you know. I want to get my sweater done, I want to get my shoes, yeah. I want to get these done, I want to get a tattoo. And, and and we were like, well, you know, we were first uh, skeptical about trying to bring him home and shit. Yeah, so yeah. we, at the end, we started actually doing it at the basement, you know. We set up this room. In the basement at the house, and then we just had homies come in, whether we, it was for a tattoo or for an airbrush shirt, uh, and then like that. And then we decided, well, shit, you know, we need more space, we need to get to work 
Like every day we're hit, getting hit, you know, by people. It's like, you know, I'm about to do a show. I need a shirt. I need something special. I need a custom work. And we'll be like, we'll come to the house, you know. So a lot of people already knew about the house. Yet, you know, we didn't want to bring everybody. Yeah, you want to bring everybody down there because we don't know who is who. Right, you're and, living there, you're sleeping there, yeah. eating, and then running a business. So, so I was like, ah. Uh, so that's what made us decide on putting on the shop, and then we looked for a location, and I think this area was like the spot for us. Malik from the Soul, come check us out. 9622 16th Avenue Southwest, Seattle, Washington, 98106 in White Center. And the heart of all the little shops we have here in the downtown uh, of White Center District, r right off uh, Roxbury and 16. And you can check our work and our website at thesoul.com. This is Sida here at the Soul. You're watching COT. It's your boy A Uno holding it down. We're at the Zool. This is where we get all our Titus airbrushes. As you can see, you know, they hooked me up a little bit. It's a little something, something. Uh, you've seen the shirts on the MySpace. Holding it down crazy, these guys don't play around Seattle. I bet y'all never knew that Seattle could bring it like this. But if you don't want to get that custom stuff and you want to get your, your clothing on, you got Joker, you got Dickies, you've got the Lowrider, exclusive Lowrider footwear right here available at Dizzle, only in the Northwest. So they holding it down, something special right there. Tribal, it's going down crazy. So visit the shop and let them hook you up for real. All right, y'all, that was it, Stilo TV, another episode coming at you, bringing you the latest and the hottest out of our area. Dizul, make sure you're checking out the spot. Big homies Alex and Smiley holding it down. Tune in next time. We're going to keep doing it and doing it, and if you don't know, you got to ask somebody. I know you heard that phrase before, but you ain't heard it from me. Hey, Uno. Spin it just one time. Yo, vatos, locos, cholas, cholos, hit them switches on them lolos. In the club, I got chicks moving like go-go's. Rebel with a cause, you can tell it to the popo.